Hi everyone! Today we're going to be creating a nursing care plan for fluid volume deficit. So let's get started. First, we're going to be going over the pathophysiology. So fluid volume deficit, or dehydration, is a state or condition where the fluid output exceeds the fluid intake. Nursing considerations, we're going to monitor vital signs, full head-to-toe assessment, monitor INOs, lab values, administer IV fluids, and educate the patient on prevention. Desired outcome, the patient will have normal vital signs, demonstrate adequate lifestyle changes to avoid dehydration, and the patient will have normal urine output. So if we're gonna go ahead and dive into the care plan, we're gonna be writing out some subjective data and some objective data. So what are we gonna see with these patients? Some subjective data could be weakness, dizziness, Some objective data that we'll see, maybe some weight loss, hypotension, maybe concentrated urine, some other things you'll see, extreme thirst in these patients alteration in their mental status. There'll be a decreased urine output, dry mucous membranes, and sunken eyes and cheeks. So interventions, we wanna make sure that we're gonna monitor and document vital signs. So we're always gonna be checking those vital signs. So we're gonna be looking for their blood pressure and their heart rate and orthostatics. So, uh, for orthostatic blood pressure, 20 millimeter drop in systolic and 10 millimeter drop in diastolic is what you're looking for. Decrease in blood volume can cause hyper or hypotension and tachycardia. Another thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we're getting proper health history from the patient. So we wanna make sure we're getting a history. Do they have such factors as GI losses? Are they diabetic? Are they on any sort of diuretic therapies that would cause them to be losing so much fluid? We want to make sure we're going to be monitoring their I and O's. We're gonna make sure that we're encouraging fluid intake and making sure we're monitoring their urine output, noting the urine color, the amount, is it clear, is it cloudy, et cetera. We wanna make sure patients taking in an adequate amount of fluids, concentrated or decreased urine can indicate dehydration. We wanna make sure we're gonna monitor lab values. So we wanna see for such things as elevated BUN or BUN, creatinine. So these are for their kidney function. Their electrolytes, such as potassium, magnesium. I'm gonna be looking for we're also going to be looking for hematocrit. And with hematocrit, if there is no change in the hemoglobin, this can also reflect fluid volume deficit. You want to make sure that we're giving IV fluids or isotonic solutions. such as normal saline or lactated ringers or 5% dextrose and water. We wanna make sure that we're giving these solutions and able to help aid in rehydrating these patients. Make sure we're getting daily weights. We 
We want to make sure we're doing this at the same time every day. This is the best way of showing any sort of fluid volume and balance. And we want to make sure that we're educating the patient and the family. We want to make sure we're educating them on prevention. Any signs and symptoms that they need to be reporting to the physician. The patient should know how to prevent dehydration and know when they should be concerned and contact the physician as needed. Okay, we're gonna go over some key points here. So fluid volume deficits, a state or condition where the fluid output exceeds the intake. Decrease fluid intake, bleeding, diarrhea, diuresis, increased metabolic rate, and third spacing are common causes. Some subjective, objective data we're looking at, the patient could be complaining of weakness, extreme thirst, dizziness, any sort of alterations in their mental status. They've got weight loss, concentrated urine, decreased urine output, and dry, dry mucous membranes. Gonna monitor their vital signs, do a full assessment, make sure we're monitoring their INOs, their lab values, and administering those fluids. Make sure we're doing daily weights and educating the patient on preventing dehydration. And there we have a completed care plan. Awesome job, guys. We love you. Go out, be your best self today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.